How do computers actually work? Well, first, a computer only has two primary functions, storing information and computing information. Anything else they do is simply derivative of one of these two things. To store information, you've likely heard that computers are using binary or ones and zeros. And this is because they actually use transistors. And transistors are essentially just a bunch of on and off switches, similar to the light switches in your house. With one transistor, you can store two possible values, such as on and off, true and false, or one and zero. With four transistors, you could store up to 16 values or two to the fourth power. So when we say a computer is eight gigabytes of memory, what we actually mean is it has 64 billion transistors for that memory. Now computers also compute information and this also happens using transistors just arranged in a slightly more clever way known as logic gates. These essentially take in some binary inputs and they output a binary value. Some of the most basic of these are AND and OR gates. And then if we combine enough gates together, we can do things like create addition circuits. And that is the beginning of computer programming. 